Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. Well, this week I'm going to cover an application I've been using for years, yet never featured on Screencasts Online. And that's Acorn, one of the best image editors for Mac OS. The reason I've never featured it is that I always feel I wouldn't be able to do it justice, as I barely scratch the surface of its capabilities when I use it. However, if I need to do some simple or not so simple image editing, Acorn is invariably the tool I reach for. With the recent release of Acorn 7, the guilt of not covering Acorn has finally got to me, so in this show I'm going to go through some of its basic features so you can also appreciate the potential of this amazing app. Acorn is made by Flying Meat Software, a small family-based software development company headed by Gus Mueller. Now, it is available on the Mac App Store as well as from the Flying Meat website. And you'll notice here on the Mac App Store that there is a feature all about Acorn. Uh, it's currently optimized for Mac with M1. If I just do a quick search, yeah, there is the story that you can check out. In fact, let's just pop into there just to see. Yeah, a nice little write-up. As I say, Acorn's been going for ages and ages and ages, so it's really nice to see it get some recognition. And this is the app on the App Store itself. Now, it is available currently uh, at 50% off for a limited time. Now, I'm recording this a week or two before you see the screencast, so there's a possibility it might disappear. Um, I will actually send a tweet out today uh, just to let you know that I'm covering it in case you want to grab it in advance. But I already have it installed, so I'm just going to go ahead and say open. And uh, we'll pop down the Mac App Store and get a finder out of the way. So this is the Welcome to Acorn screen, currently at version 7.0.2. Uh, version 7 is quite a big update. They've changed the UI slightly. I'll go through that. Uh, but this is quite a useful welcome screen. And to be honest, normally I switch these off. And you can do that by switching this little checkbox off. But in all honesty, I tend to keep this switched on. Uh, one thing I will point out at this uh, particular stage, though, is that there are tons of tutorials all about Acorn. So there's the basics, there's tools, image editing, lots and lots of things. And there are some uh, sort of subject matters as well, not just about the application, but how you do things. Sort of like red eye removal, um, applying a texture, removing a background, etc. So this particular screencast that I'm going to do is really just going to follow the basics. And I literally am just going to skim the surface of what it's capable of. I'll go through some of the things that I tend to do with it on a regular basis. But uh, please bear in mind that although it might look a bit basic as I show you a few things, it really is an extremely powerful image editing tool. And it's really worthy of consideration no matter what level of graphic skills you have. OK, let's go ahead anyway and start off with a new image. And the first thing that we get if we click on new image is we get the option to choose a preset. So by default, it comes with a number of different presets, sort of uh, screen sizes for Apple devices, uh, US uh, page sizes and European page sizes as well. You can create your own preset. If I just go back to here, uh, what I tend to do is create icons for the show. And they're normally a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels. So if I just pop in here a thousand width and a thousand height. Uh, resolution 72 is fine, image depth and background color. I might want that one to be transparent. And at this point, instead of choose a preset, I can go ahead and save preset. Let's call this show icon. Say OK. And click OK. We get our empty document here. But if I just close that down, so now if I say file new and choose a preset right at the top, that is my show icon preset. Select that, it populates the page with the information, click on OK, and there is my graphic ready to go. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up to date tutorials each week as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, 
iPad, iPhone and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.